I've been craving some downtime. Now, I know I probably overuse Sunset, but for this quest, trust me, we're gonna want to be really in the Sunset. Hey, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm Sir Mouths, and last time, we helped out mash up the Leprous Extraordinaire. Finish up a long overdue commission. And this time, we have our final Ascension quest, or rather, hero quest, to take care of. Also, last episode, we got access to the final thing, which was the Saucy Glossy Gem Lobster. 10 10 5. It's fine. But, with Riku and Manana in the party, anyways, Let's time to discuss the sea! It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it. The sea just seems to go on forever. We were still in Connie Gamma. We never have ended up coming here. Didn't think we would have either, Noah. I had no way. I don't think I could have ever even imagined spending time gazing out on the water. Of course not. If we had the time to spend staring at the sea, we had time to fight. I said it. I think having moments like these is good for us from time to time. Agreed. I'm getting a call. Hmm? It's Commander is it? Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do for you? I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by Colony Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment. I would hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. Alright, see you later then, Tyon. What do you say? We should meet him at Lambda whenever we have the time. Alright, then let's pay him a visit when we next have a gap in our schedule. And that gives us side story Tyon! Very simple name for not so simple of a quest. Come on in, barrels. Come on, barrels. Shades of M. Dickey games. Out here. Gotta come on and bounce. Come on, bounce. Never actually played those, but... They look fun. I think I have one of them, but I just never, never got around to it. I don't know. Got other busy things to do. Remember, Tyon, you got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was an Imoas. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue, use this. Yeah. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvesi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time, but at some point it was destroyed in a great battle, and there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us, so perhaps... Their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looked like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, 
I journeyed away from the colony, along with Nimue. Nimue left with you? Why so? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. I wondered at her motivations, but I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth. Yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. So we get Isid request. But yeah. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? I mean, with seeing that Sophronia's are involved, yeah, that's why we gotta go with. Gotta go with the sunsets. Fronies are so beautiful. I mean, they're cherry blossoms. They're fantastic. Hey, I hope you don't mind my asking, but, uh, what's a spa exactly? Huh? Where's this come from? The commander keeps asking everyone to join him on the trip to the spa place. Ah, uh, he's got spa on his brain, has he? He's not answering my question. Everyone else is like, okay, Izzard. Whippy? Whippy knows. It's clearly something important. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Fine, we'll go to a different one. Okay, jeez. I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? You don't have okay. any snacks. So, can we talk? What a beautiful story. Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyler. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia. That's that thingy, right? We saw one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. What? I don't like flowers and junk. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! This is unusually proactive for you, Manana. Why so? Ladies and flowers are like peas of same pot. No idea what Manana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. That okay with friend Tile? Sure. Thank you, everyone. All right, and back to Izzard we go. Hold up, but Roche has something. They're just with Dad. 
You're acquainted with her? Yeah, of course. I've heard her in the skirmishes a couple of times. Corny Farr was a pretty tough head to see. Your Solia was one of the strongest. I don't know anything about her final moment, she's probably been a bit of an enemy, but she's still sad she's gone. I always like the little rivalries between different colonies. I heard that even the commander took a little break. Thing is, he came back to a he came to a uh, he came to back a mountain of paperwork. He never seemed to look exhausted. So break that to Dallas, but yeah. But he did look somewhat satisfied, says so he's got a whole new type of mission in mind now. Natural spies. He has got you to thank for his change of heart. I mean, you could probably find one on the Great Coat Falls. Census Varen set up. Are they working alright? Oh, so it seems. I'm not convinced they're exactly in the best of spots, though. How do you mean? Well, Mac the Wildwood opens down to the upper levels of the Great Falls. In my opinion, that's the kind of place you should have been looking at. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Apparently, Varen's a bit of a dipshit. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. It was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. Commander. Kion. Sir? If Nimue's been reborn, if she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. I don't get it. Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Hmm? I'm sure he must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah, I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm... I'm just... You're just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Huh? Okay, sorry. I know you're right. And I mean, yeah, that's fair enough. Yes, we have actually popped over here before when I was out looking for the Levia Lord. So, it's at least quick to get here. It's nice. Yeah, the place was blocked off before. So, Tyon, feeling the pressure yet? No, why would I be? I'm fine. Yeah, so this was blocked off before. Couldn't get in early. There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. whole unit made up of levnesses. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. A consul. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. 
They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? I mean, I'm sure we're strong enough to just we run in there and... This way. We're probably strong enough to just go in there and bash some skulls in. Well, it's just that cool that we could do Looks that. Like a rare I, I, I did the uh, piece of psychics are cool. I'm not cool. Let's be real. The epitome of uncool. But like, god damn, I love... Mm, this game's so beautiful. Looks fantastic, and the stylization will make it hold up even better. It's like, oh my god. We'll have to let them know about this. Right. When the foreigner starts moving, we won't have enough time. We'll have to do something before then. Like, Xenoid 1, it's the point where... The graphics aren't good enough and it's not stylized enough where it doesn't, where it, it, the original Zero One does not hold up graphically, and the Definitive Edition it feels too anime. Zero like Two, I think, does fine with it, but like, this is definitely the best artistic direction of the series. A fight! Agnian auto left, is it? But who are they fighting? Could it be? So it would seem. Let's help them. Roger. Should be time for dinner soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time, Senna. Well, it's dinner time, right? Ah, oh, Senna. What are we gonna do with you? We're about to start this. No, this. Everyone's in danger. We're. They're gonna die if we don't help them out. Oh, it should be dinner soon, right? Thanks, Senna. Let's just pop up the resident flag. Probably should have popped up the golden heart first, but eh. Just start throwing shit out, really. I do have both a fast recharge and a arts heal, so it's on the same thing. Uh, I have Oriole and Golden Heart on the same, so that when I can use resident flag. I can automatically get two up there. And the fact that you get both Oriole and Resonant Flag as part of the... The, the fact that they're both Master Skills, Master Arts, is so good. And look at that, they fit perfectly together. I'm like... Using arts more often, this is a good setup. I'm happy with this. I know it's hard for you to believe us, but I promise you, we aren't lying. K-1 
Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? I... I, I mean... These Lebnuses were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force, they're drawing near. Very well. I'll choose to trust you. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. I'll take you to meet our chief. Chief? I can't believe Nimue is here. I don't think Tyon's mind's on the job. Definitely not. We ain't got a wheel be able to quash. Got a quash on the girl that he thought was dead. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It it comes to territory in this world. There's a lot of people who you kinda think are dead and Well, that's because they did die. Uh for being transparent. You think they're dead because they were dead. But regardless, we can just swiggle around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need these Uzrafe Ropples. Ropples. Ropple Dopel. They might could have just taken us with her. And. Gotta go back in time. There we go. Sir Tyon, was that your name? Huh? Oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? Um, well, you see... Right. Your dog tag. On your... Dog tag? What? what? Tyon. I guessed. I I'm told I have great intuition. Guessing a name for me? <laughs> it isn't even a challenge. Wow, is that true? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> oh, this is doing my head in. Just stuff it, tell her. Oh! Great idea, Nat. By the way, Nimue, you're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. Uni, we've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? Something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, but I like that about you. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Uni is as uni does. Besides, hmm? I think it's not just the rebirthing thing. He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. Poor fella. Your blade? Huh? I have the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. I did? Oh, uh, no. I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. Right. What's wrong? You all came from outside, didn't you? Yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know. We're not allowed to leave. It's forbidden, you see. Oh. Honestly, it's not all that wonderful. A world 
of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes. It's a pitiful place. Still, even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Huh? It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world... Well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. Dion. All sorts of dickheaded. Oh dear. Better leave him be for his bell. Gotta be a tuppy, huh? Galloping Gul'dan. We'll come back. God, he looks really cool, though. But yeah, Tyon, uh, lost in his own little world. So, uh, yeah. Glad you like them. They're nearly in full bloom. Give it three more days, and they'll be covering the whole cliffside. Wow, now that I want to see. Yeah! The chief is over there. Let's go. This place not bad. Not bad at all. All right, chief. Yeah, keep You're moving. We gotta to go meet the, the chief. There's been a change in colony relations. I think this is the right pace to follow up. No, nope, we slightly outpace, I think. Just ever so slightly, I think we're faster at this. Whoa. So pretty. Just like the image Nimue showed me. Oh, well, we'll get to you later. This place not bad. Chief Corus. Oh, oh, Chief. Fine, you just teleport inside. I thank you, kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Chief! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing war rages on constantly in the outside world. <sighs> if that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or, you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders. As thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. <sighs> We've made some new friends. Oh, can't exactly say I agree with that, but... Oh, so that's how they're doing. Well, she's the chief, so... Gotta listen. Is this place a crop-growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kevez. Seems like a nice way to live. It's warm. They live in comfort. 
Yeah. How could they deserve punishment? What's this? I think this was from another me. Remember the battlefield at Kana? I found it there. Back there? Is Nimue different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? Elegant, graceful, refined. <laughs> no way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. Oh no, sorry. I didn't... What I wanted to say was... I don't suppose we could change. But you know... Some things are different sometimes. Huh. Because this time round, we're all Aboros. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. You need? Ha! <laughs> I didn't expect encouragement from you. Well, you do make a good cuppa. <laughs> So it's not much of a surprise that each pairing of Ouroboros is meant to be, you know, romantic couple. And Uni and Tyon is my least favorite of those, but it's growing on me at least. At this rate, it's going to be up to us. Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean... I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? Tyon? What's up? It's just... this Foronis. A flame clock? Oh man, and it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Huh. That's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Tyon? Riku, do you know much about Foronises? Silly question. Maintaining Colony 9 Foronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then, could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight. We're going to play a little trick. 
a trick. How is it? Friend was right. Piranus can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Well, mechanicists of Riku's talons can do this in 30 minutes. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Feronis and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repairs. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it. Oh, well, uh... We need the three kinds of parts and an ether solution. We can confirm them by Iris later. Well, we got most of them already. Last bit shouldn't be too difficult. So on we... Uh, you gotta get the cube chips as well. Not to be confused with the cube chips that were a pretty decent early weapon in Xenoblade 2. They were really just early game. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, that's a rare one. I like Moglum. Whenever I go and redo Xenoblade 2, I'm gonna get so thrown off by not being able to fight in the water anymore. Such a big... Like, honestly, it's... Being able to fight in the water is so nice. If only you didn't charge off on your own. Takes us up one of them. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. And let's fast charge. And I don't think the fast charge actually stacks. It might. Maybe. I don't think it does though. But it might. Apparently this is deep enough for the sea. But, you know what? I'm not gonna question getting able to hear Battle on the Seas. Battle on the Seas is fantastic. And there's our last armadillo. It's a funky looking armadillo to me. Yeah, well, we also got a Blant involved. That's eh, fine. Bop, bop. I'll just double check actually if it stacks. The I don't think it does. But it, if it does, that's uh, we'll figure it out. Back into the sunset land, and uh, yep. You're going to fight? Uh, not quite. We're, um... Tyon, I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Ah. <sighs> you could... get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies... I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening? I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this long. But there's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. 
Nimue. Please. All right. I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition. That is? When we first came here, it was like an awakening. There are still beautiful places like this in the world. We have to keep this place safe. That's what we're fighting for. Once you've seen how we do things, promise me that you'll protect this place. That fight belongs to you. My own fight? Yes. You have a deal, Tyon. I'll watch all of you. How you fight. I'll burn it into here. Riku done. Time to light fire. Brilliant. It worked. Was it meant to float away? Yes, it was. Huh? Riku, did you input the coordinates? Of course. Riku fed Veronis numbers just as directed. What's going on? We've made ourselves a lure. A lure? Now I get it. That thing's gonna lure in the Mobius and beat it up. They know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Theronis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Theronis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack? Honestly, I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? And then, we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder! Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Pharaonis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. Well, we got some sort of plan in mind. And if we can fight alongside a Pharaonis for once, that would be cool. Said we've only fought Pharaonises, as in, like, actually fought Pharaonises. Remember, Kel and Lambda, how we one on one an actual Pharaonis? It's kind of sick, though. Not gonna lie. Is it go time? Here we go! Great! This guy really is an idiot. While those Pharaonises are busy fighting, we'll move in from behind. We'll hit them where it will hurt them the most. A console. Got it. The bus. Well, let's go beat some sense into that dumb Mobius face. We'll take him down for sure. 
I think we should get involved in the fight. That looks like it would be fun. Again, we fought him. We fought Pharonis's before. It's child's play. Honestly, to think I would have difficulty with fighting a Pharonis. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense at all. Alright, Mobius. We can at least kick your ass. That's not difficult. Hello. Ah! It's you lot! Quick! This is a trap! Sorry about that, mate! Turns out you had a bit of a brain fart. Nice one. Oh. Ah! Impossible! Could I really have been fooled by these peons? My mighty self? Ridiculous! Not a chance! This just isn't happening! This guy's in serious denial. Anyhow, looks like he's genuinely clueless about Minoy and the others. Promise us you'll turn around and go back the way you came, and we will let you go. Give a message to your masters, if you even have any. Tell them exactly how you fell into our trap. What? You think I'm some lonely errand boy? Stop your messages. I'm all about the screaming. And I will enjoy yours before the day is through. That's why I am Mobius. Why are they all so gross? I will never turn back. I will cut through. I will fill this body with the echoes of your dying screams. Okay, no, this is actually fairly high leveled. Might actually be a little bit on the difficult side. Possibly. Also possibly not, but, you know. It could be. Yeah, I kind of was just trying to spam out arts as soon as I could, as quickly as possible. We are constantly taking a little bit of ticking damage, which is a bit unfortunate. We only have one healer, which is not great, I am realizing. Um, but we do have a couple of people who can revive, at least. Which is good. I believe lands can also revive. No, uh, no I can. Sorry. Noah is our other reviver. Let's go with that. Should be close to a chain attack, right? Eh, not really. I thought we would be a lot closer, but... Ah well. Um, what I'm going to make sure of is that we are actually at full party. Okay, we're good. When the chain attack comes up. Let's go in and we'll start off with bypassing defenses altogether. That's pretty good to have. Um, yeah. Have Senna go first. Okay. Um, maybe. Might be able to make something work. And then now we get multiplied by. Oh, we might. We, it's possible for us to get. I don't think we got it. No. Possible. Uh, it was close for us to get a brow, though. I maybe could have done one more, but yeah. Let's go and increase defender aggro. Um, let's see, yeah. Topple. That gets us to 53. Lands should be good. Get 
gets us to 90. We can heal on hit. And then we can get a Bravo with Noah. It's up to 64, gets us 163. Okay. And hopefully we have... Okay, yep, we do have Nogi Storm up. Oh. Okay, okay, I think I see how I want to do this. So Crash Out, this is our first. Then another area heal on hit. Gets us to 91. And then this is our best bet, which I think we literally missed by one. Oh boy. Uh, this is not great. We get Senna. If Senna's order was up here, we might have had a chance. But I don't think... I don't think we got it. Yeah, if it was Senna's order, then we might have been good, but nope. Okay. That is fine, we can work with it. Uh, just checking. How is Mio getting bound? Problem is that she can't really heal herself. But, ah well. We, ha we do have the... The regen can at least heal herself. Although now we are healing Shackled. So we can't even heal ourselves. Let's just... Go with that. I'm just gonna try to do as many as I can hand of Resident Edge, which I think is quickest if I do Full Moon Drop and whatever the other one is. I'm good at uh, Full Moon Drop and Deadly Twister, I think are quickest. Uh, okay, you know what, we're actually not doing half bad. He is about to throw out a lethal mist, which will be. Yep. Okay. Um, if we can topple him, and that gives us a little bit more time. Tan Uni are up. Okay. Is this chain attack necessary? Not really. But. Oh well. Yeah, no, absolutely not necessary. Uh, actually, in that case, I'm not just gonna end it. Great chain attack, guys. He's saying sorry for creep. Okay, now Riku. Understanding. Now that was an explosion. 
What the spark did you do? Friend want to know? To know. Will it take long? Explaining principles take half a day. Then I'll pass. Well, whatever the snap happened, it all went down a treat. If I was a Mobius, I'd at least try to check the situation before going all in. Seriously, what a total dingus. Anyway, we got the best possible outcome. Amazing. Tyon, I saw everything. The way you fought. Do you spend every day battling like this? Gladly, yes. Huh? We need the people of your colony to protect this place. It's true, there are times when our fight takes a toll on us. But we carry on that fight because we have a mission. A mission? The foe we fought today. Mobius, who made this world the way it is. We have to take it back from them. We have to make a new world. One without fighting, where you won't have to hide away in fear. Tyon. But sometimes we do need rest to forget fighting for a time. This place could be our refuge. I understand. Then we'll protect this land so that whenever you grow tired of your fight, you can return here to rest. Thank you. Our mission. Huh? If we manage to win, there's someone I want you to meet. Someday. And so, the late start story Tyon, taking on Izzard's request, Tyon on the party protected Nimue's home colony from Mobius. Of course, that means that we now have not only Tyon's soul slot on whatever it's actually called, but also we can now rank up the tactician to rank 20. So let's go over the tactician. Level 20, its multipliers are 0.65 HP, 0.65 attack, 1.15 healing, 1.10 dex, like an agility. 10 physical defense, and 30 ether defense. For its skills, the first one is Ethereal Ability, which boosts your damage from ether arts by 35, uh, by 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50%. Shield Render has a chance to be uh, unblockable attack. 60, 70, 80, 90, then at level 20, every attack will be unblocked. Eternal Curse will increase the duration to debuffs. 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50% uh, longer timers. And then Inevitable Evitability is just a base chance to evade enemy attacks. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10%. For your arts, starting off with Overfall. <laughs> Overfall inflicts Aether Defense down. Aether Defense down lowers your Aether Defense by 25%. Recharge of 5, uh, five to 4 at 10, 3 at 15. 220, 255, 285, 2, uh, 325, and 375 power multiplier. Stormy Skies heals in one area around, uh, just heals in the area around them. Goes from 5 to 4 at level 20. 200, 210, 215, 235, and 245 power multiplier. Hazy Figure, uh, let me check my notes, gives Evasion Upfield, which is a 25% chance to dodge. 4 to 3 at level 15. And your usual small, medium, large at 1, 10, and 20. Avenging Eagle inflicts evasion down, which is the enemy has a 25% lower chance to dodge. 5, 2, 4 at 10, 3 at 15. Um, 
180, 210, 235, 273, 10. And finally, Dark Banner inflicts Sleep, which will prevent acting until either its timer runs out, or the enemy is hit. Goes from 8 to 7 at 10, 6 and 5, 110, 120, 130, 145, 165. Tidal Wave is the Talent Art, which is a full party heal on hit, which goes up to <laughs> maximum of 150% of your healing power, and also does 100, 120, and up to 150% of the attack damage as well. 500, 540, 580, 640, 700 on your power multiply. As for Tyon himself, he is the fourth highest in attack, fifth in HP, second in healing, first in dex, and sixth in agility. To go over his Ouroboros, I'm uh, going to interlink, it's been a while since I've done this. Uh, starting off with his skills. Eclipse will decrease enemy debuff resistance by 30 to 50 and upgrade. Unceasing Curse will make the debuff either 50% slower or completely stop debuff timer on upgrade. Shared Curse does a damage increase depending on how many enemies are active. I believe it is 30% per, as per normal. And Strength Sapper has a chance to reset enemy, uh, to reset the enemy's recharge when your art hits pretty situational. As for his arts, we'll start off with Spirit Raven, which is a heal on hit, has a 250 to 325, and a 50 to 100% heal ratio. Lurking Spider is burst on level 3, 300 to 390. Uh, Atomize is inflicting blaze and blowdown, and it is also evading during arts, blaze 8% of the arts damage per second. Grand Priest is Topple on level 3, 350 to 455. I'll get to body double in a moment. Uh, fleeting Form is. It grants regenerates to the party and will also increase the power of buffs issued by himself by 50%. I don't think this. I think it does actually apply to this. And then Body Dumble will randomly apply one debuff. I will be going through this list again on Machine Assassin, do not worry. But the list of debuffs being able to apply for this are Accuracy Down, which decreases enemy accuracy by 25%, Attack Down, which decreases attack by 25%, Bind prevents movement or actions, Ether Defense Down is a lower 25% lower Ether Defense, Evasion Down, 25% lower chance to dodge, Physical Defense Down, 25% lower Physical Defense, Resistance Down, guess what, it's another 25% chance, this time it's Effectively means it's a 25% chance higher, 25% uh, higher chance to inflict a debuff on an enemy. Shackle blocking prevents an enemy from being able to block attacks, and sleep prevents enemies from acting at all until their timer runs out or they are hit. Eightfold divide inflicts blowdown and has a chance to reset enemies recharge. Power multiplier of 1,000 to 1,400, and an 80 to 100% chance. To reset the enemy recharge. It's our Boros Order, it's Grand Design, which will greatly increase the damage ratio and fully heal the party. Tyon has a TP of 35, and his normal chain order is Art of Subjugation, which reduces enemy physical defense by 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50 percentage points. I think it's percentage points. I think it might be percent. Tactician, it is a class. I sure can say that. Um, it's solid enough at trying to inflict debuffs. It can actually take advantage of the debuffs it inflicts. It's... The fact that it does focus so much on evasion can really tie in well with evasion tank classes like the Zephyr and the Ponic Champion. Um, those are the main two evasion tanks that I think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, they're kind of, kind of a face tank with the... The, the lone exile is kind of between, but it helps out evasion tanks by being able to allow enemies to hit more often and allowing yourself to be not hit as often. Um, it's solid enough at healing with stormy skies. Uh, it's fairly quick. Five to four hits is pretty reasonable. Um, again, like this class is just kind of fine. 
it's just fine. Um, it's nothing special, it's not really going to do anything outstanding. Um, it inflicts evasion down, it can put enemies to sleep, lower their easy defense. Um, again, it's a solid enough heal. Sleep is good when you can hit, but yeah, it's, it's a fine class. It's fine. And again, that's kind of Tyon as well. He's fine. He's going to be consistent, he's going to hit a lot, because he has the highest dexterity of the class. Uh, I mean, he, he, he does pretty decent chip damage. He's not nearly as strong as, I believe, Lands, uh, Noah, and especially Senna are above him. So, it's solid damage, and yeah, he's not going to really hit any home runs. He, he's reliable. Not flashy. We'll get the job done. We'll keep things moving forward. But he's not really going. To, again, he's not going to hit any home runs. He's not going to be out there. And his interlink is pretty disappointing. Um, like I, debuff is pretty good. Um, but like having burst and I mean, yeah, burst and topple as level threes. Well, anything that. Well, I mean, I think all of them have multiple level threes. But, like, I don't know, it's... That's probably the worst combo, I would say. Topple and Burst. But, it's... Again, it's fine. It's nothing special. You're not gonna... You're not gonna go wrong if you use Tactician. You're not gonna go wrong with... I don't know. Just take Tide out of your party immediately! You don't even have the choice. But, but yeah, uh, next time, we're going to go one more traipse around the world to go and catch up with everyone that we can. But until then, see you guys later.